Hello Leo, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Let's jump into your love reading. What is the mutual energy sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Leo in love? At this time, the mutual energy in the recent past, the sun card. Leo, there you are in your reading. Big, bold, happy, and proud. Delighted. Nice. <laughs> you are making a major statement, Leo. All right, what else do we have for the mutual energy currently? Wow, the tower card. So the tower is coming down on an expectation. You know, I also see the tower card as a time when it's the epiphany. It's time to do something. It's time to build a foundation. It's time to create something. The tower card energy in that is sort of like, whoa, you know, that came out of the blue. It can also be love at first sight. <laughs> So let's see what your mutual energy is in terms of that tower card, the moon card. So something has happened. We now have the sun and the moon. We have Pisces energy. We have Aries energy. We have your energy, Leo. All right, let's see how your person views the relationship at the current time. So it looks like there's a crisis of some sort. Something is hidden, something was revealed, an epiphany of some sort. So Leo, you have Aries energy. We're seeing that you're being very, your person is being very strategic. The way they view the situation is they think that, that a win, a big win is possible. You have four major arcana cards here. This is not a small thing. This really tells me, Leo, that your relationship has a potential to take you to the heights of heaven or the depths of, of, you know, being frightened. So very interesting. Okay, so how your person views you. They view you, I got this for Aries. Your person, Leo, views you as someone with whom they have to use strategy. If they want to have a win in love with you, they're really in a big hurry. They, honey, I'm home. Let's go. Let's have fun. Let's hop to it. Let's get moving. So you see your person as not as invested in you, Leo, as you are. You feel as though you're invested more than they are. You feel as though they're being very strategic and very cagey with you. The Two of Swords says also that there is some sort of disagreement going on that you're not discussing. Look at the moon card there. Something is going on behind the scenes, and it does look like there was a big argument at a minimum, if not a breakup. So it's possible that the two of you have broken up. Looks like um, you know, you're watching your person or your person's watching you on social media. The Two of Swords, the way they view the situation is they feel as though you don't want to talk to them right now. So it looks like, it looks as though something was revealed. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna dig in and find out the details. The devil is always in the details, right? Okay. So your person feels very much all of these cards just fell out. So I'm gonna take all of them. The hidden energy between the two of you is cancer energy. You love each other. It's followed up by Pisces energy. This looks like, oh, I guess it's one card. Pisces energy, happily ever after. Someone here may have been married or married. It, uh, what, the way I'm seeing this, the way I'm feeling it, is that either there is, there's a truth that wasn't quite accurate. It looks as though this could be for some of you, Leo, that you told you told or your person told you that they were getting a divorce and it may not be as far along as they represented so it does look like that truth has been illuminated five of swords says a hidden energy is there's a lot of anger five of swords is sort of a winner take all and not necessarily an honorable win that somebody in this relationship didn't tell you the truth leo they did not tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The love is there. You have that love. That's mutual energy. But the two of you are trying to figure out with this Virgo energy of how to move forward after a very, very bad revelation. A revelation that it doesn't diminish the love. It doesn't diminish the happiness that you've experienced together. But boy, oh boy. 
you feel as though Leo, your person owes you an apology. Spirit is saying that this, the message from Spirit is saying that this too shall pass, that it's not the end of the world, but it is a, an epiphany, a wake up call, if you will, to work through the emotional issues to do with this information. So let's see what the outcome at this time is before we clarify. Oh, nice. So the lover's card. So that's Gemini energy, Cancerian energy, Aries. I'm getting Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, Five of Swords is Aquarius. I get all the signs on the board. We have the Three of Cups. It's like your lovers and best friends. The Page of Coins also says that you both want to make plans for the future. So a small offer is made. It could be, please go out to dinner with me. Please talk to me. Please, let's discuss matters. Please, please, please. So Leo, let's look and see what this energy is. Why do we have Leo in the sun energy in the recent past? That's the happiest card in the deck. And look at that. You are both being aloof. Ooh. So while you were having a great time, there was a lot of aloofness. Aquarius across from the sun, which is a natural marriage energy. Aquarius is the opposite of Leo. Leo is the opposite of Aquarius. It really does mean that both of you are well matched. One of you seems to be cooler of cooler head. And you are very passionate, but together you're very, very happy. Leo, very beautiful energy. Now to the tower card. Why is the tower here? Rushing in before all was revealed, okay? So Leo, you view your person as having rushed things. And that in, the, in so doing, you were trying to find out information, you wanted to get to know them better, but you got swept up. Leo, you got swept up and you didn't see the foundation. It looks as though, yep, oh, a big fight. You get, the two of you don't appear to be talking right now. It's a pretty big deal, right? To have somebody not tell you. Now it's interesting because for some of you, it's a third-party situation actively, meaning that the person's invested in a marriage, that, you know, they're in love with their spouse, or, you know, they have kids they don't want to leave behind. But for many of you, this simply means that the trust got shattered, the trust in which there was so much happiness because... Oops, because of this marriage, yep. Yeah. And it was not a stairway to heaven, that's for sure, Taurus energy. So it definitely looks as though energetically here. You know, I also see this as a possibility for some of you um, that sometimes I hear clients, I've, heard, I've had clients tell me, well, I guess, what is he going to do or what is she going to do when I tell him I'm still married to somebody that I've been separated from and haven't seen in five years or ten years? So I think for some of you, for, take it how it resonates, but there was a secret that was revealed. Somebody tried to rush things so they could get their foot in the door, and yet they weren't forthcoming, they weren't honest, they weren't straightforward, they were being very strategic and very pushy. So Leo, you know, take it as it resonates. It does look like your person really loves you. I get that they want to get to know you better. They want to invest in you. They do realize that they were defensive and, you know, they were looking out for themselves. It wasn't them looking out for you. So it does show that, you know, they want this passionate new beginning with you. Okay, so they view you as a person who loves them very much, but right now the only way they can see you is on social media is how I'm looking at this the moon card again the moon card again they see you as a person who was absolutely shattered by the fact that they could do such a thing that the trust was tremendous coming into this relationship and boom it's like somebody you know detonated a 
you know, some sort of a demolition energy. The Sun card shows me, Leo, that your person rushed in because they felt as though if they didn't, they would lose you to someone else. They were in a big hurry because they thought they, it was like a seize the moment. They met you unexpectedly. I feel as though they seized the moment, they took the chance, and everything backfired because they were not open. See, they were very strategic with you. Your person was, this can mean my way or the highway, but it's also the big chess pieces here twice. Your person was very much kind of playing the odds that you wouldn't find out that they weren't being honest and forthright with you. Now your person knows that, you know what, that was a bad mistake. The Two of Swords, you don't want to speak to them right now, Leo. I feel like you do not want to speak to your person at all. That, you know, divine timing is on their side, though. <laughs> Sagittarius energy, Four of Wands, it really shows that that again, you're not you're not going to have anything to do with them. If this person is in another relationship, you know I don't see you actively. If they're actively in a relationship, um, and they're, you know, they think that they're going to stay, the Justice card says that they have to leave their partner, they have to get a divorce, or else you're out. You're going to check out. It does look like your person plans on getting a divorce if this is their story, if this is your story. Now, I'm going to add here, it doesn't have to be a marriage. It can be a marriage-like relationship in which you live with somebody. And the, the uh, Justice card means that, this means that you could buy or rent a house together, but the Justice card is also leases and, you know, just like when you make a commitment together. It doesn't have to be marriage, but I see it probably is for most of you. All right, let's see the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords energy is pretty self-explanatory. Again, I get both of you still want to move forward. You want to be honest. You want to be very methodical. Both of you want to do things right at this point. Good. <laughs> Because that was pretty, pretty far-fetched. That is really going off the reservation. You know, it's really going off the things that you know. You reserve good judgment, and it looks as though your person did not reserve. They went off the reservation of good judgment. So when we see the card, Spirit says an apology is owed. Let's see what's happening here. An apology is accepted. Okay, so both of you really love each other. Both of you love each other tremendously. Six of Cups, you could, Spirit is saying that the two of you may grow old together, but there's a lot of healing to do. And you have to get real about, you know, you have to find out, Leo, if your person is really looking more at being single and happy and just having this passionate relationship with you. You have to make sure that they want the same thing you do. All this marriage energy appears to be something they want with you, but something that they may have with someone else that has yet to come to fulfillment with you, okay? So we do see this energy. They are feeling very wounded at what they did. They're seeing that they really damaged the relationship. Uh, the, the Four of Swords energy is about trying to heal the relationship. Your person feels as though if they make love to you, if they're your best friend, that they will be able to heal the relationship. But it is mutual energy. The outcome says the lover's card is here. A decision has to be made. The Three of Cups says that as long as they're with another person, you will not see them. You will not talk to them. You will not entertain any plans with them. But they are in a big hurry to come to you and tell you the truth of the situation. So now we're going to look at the wisdom of the oracle. And we're going to see what is going on here. And a longer, a bigger picture of what's happening in this relationship. Okay, so Leo Energy. What are the messages, Spirit, that Leo needs to have? Treasure Island, this is a one-of-a-kind, once-in-a-lifetime relationship. This is something to be valued. Go to the sea, search for answers, use your intuition, be, you know, really be in your spiritual center because a higher power, you have to really 
look at this from you know a spiritual standpoint is this person fit to be with you spiritually are they of the same um you know are they of the same spiritual integrity that you are okay let's see here all right happy happy oh beautiful okay so happy happy means that there is potential to have this relationship it does show that you've had chaos and conflict in this situation and it does show that this person is still very attached to their tribe their family so you are just you know you're not going to entertain anything with them unless they make a dedicated decision to be with you and with only you and they have to be interested in long term for you. So let's look and see what Sacred Destiny has to say about this relationship and then we're going to get some messages of love. Okay. Solitude. So right now Leo, you need to be alone. It's good that you're leaving your person on their own. This person did and said and presented themselves in a way that was not um, you know, that lacked, lacked honesty, wonders, okay. So wonders is a card that says you never know what can happen, you know, wonders could happen, uh, really speaks to the possibilities, miracles, <laughs> all right, so there is a miracle in this, so let's look and see what the energy is of the messages of love. The messages of love for you, Leo, in this relationship, what is it that your person would really like to be able to tell you or for you to know about why they did what they did, etc., trust? They're trying to tell you it's really safe to trust them. Well, a little bit too late, I think. They want you to trust them very badly, though. Balance. It does look as though you gave more to the relationship with integrity, with honesty, and you need balance in the relationship. Okay, what else do we have? Awakening. Someone is understanding, oh, is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So if it is that you are wondering whether this person can be in the with higher power, the answer is yes. Let's look and see why they, let's look at the shadow side to see why they would have been in this energy with you. Why would they have tried to trick you to the point that they rushed the relationship so they could be with you? The lover's card, okay. So your person sees you as a soulmate. We've got, we have the lovers twice here. We also see the two of swords. They just wanted you. They didn't think about the consequences at all. That impulsivity is something that you will be studying very closely. You want to know if this is the way they do things. But Leo, look at, here you are, the strength card. The strength of this relationship is amazing. Both of you, when we look at the cobra and we look at the lion, we look at two entities that will fight to the death if they have to. So your person, you are both adamant. You will fight to the death for what you want in terms of integrity, in terms of spirit. Your person will fight to the death to have you. So that is the energy. You know, they just see you as that person that they could never replace. They never thought they could have. And so they did what they shouldn't have done. So, Leo, I'm going to leave this energy here. You have somebody who loves you very much. You love them. It's a dilemma for sure, but it is a love story. All right, take care. Thanks, Leo. Bye-bye.